Hey there, business writers. This is Dale the Librarian again. Today I'm going to give you a really brief video on how to get scholarly articles from Business Source Premier. And then in the email I'm going to send you for each of your um, Friday email list emails, I'm going to show you a very probably specific scholarly article, but then I'm going to show you how to use that in your paper. It's kind of awkward because a lot of the resources that you typically use are these more general ones that explain a lot of your paper and the scholarly stuff is going to just explain a teeny little bit. So let's go to Business Source Premier, um, the article databases, the letter B, and then way down at the bottom, Business Source Premier. Now whatever, you school, whatever school you go to, uh, they should have a general business articles database. This is ours. Another one might be called ABI Inform or something like that. But if you go to a different school, um, just ask. Uh, here's the trick. Um, I'm going to ask for full text just so I get a, a result right off the bat. But references available. And then way over here, scholarly peer review journals. Check all three of those and you'll get mostly scholarly articles. Um, I'm going to do a search for... I think I did this in class. I did Toyota. So let's do a different one. Let's do motorcycles. So these are all going to be... Um, scholarly uh, for the most part, mostly because of that reference is available. But let's look here. Optimize and, op optimizing and simulating the assembly line balancing problem in a motorcycle manufacturing company. Okay. Um, I'll click on the PDF and let me show you what you're going to be looking for. Dun, 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 dun. And you know it's a it's going to be a good scholarly article if it has that really tricky title. So if it's something that's catchy and kind of fun to read, you'd probably better look for something else for that scholarliness. If you need help getting something scholarly, send me an email, um, and I can tell you whether or not what you've already picked is scholarly or not. Okay, on this one, um, optimizing and simulating assembly line balancing problem. It's going to be a very focused thing, but what you could do is you could say, because they did this, it allowed your company to do something. Or because the competitor did this, it allowed them to have an advantage over your company. So when you're making that recommendation report, all you need is just that basic bit. What you should do though, um, and this isn't just a filler for your paper, but you don't want to make statements that this paper makes um, unless you're grabbing a quote from it. So it's not filler to grab a quote. On a scholarly article, the first page, the abstract, is, is going to be pretty good, but grab something from the first page or so, because what they're going to have done, especially in this one, is they're going to quantify, or quantify um, what the assembly line changes uh, produced. Was there higher productivity or something like that? And they're going to make statements like that, um, that productivity was improved or productivity blah blah blah. You know, you're going to look for that statement, and then you're just going to grab that quote and put it in your paper. Okay, so hopefully this helps out. Um, citing really scholarly stuff um, is kind of tricky, and grabbing a quote I think is the best and first step. Okay, so I will see you all next Friday.